gooey ducks. It's a uh, hell of a gooey duck. Mm hmm. There's definitely like a variety of jumping spider with the way that their eyes are situated on their bodies. Okay. What does that say about the mantis? There's an old photo on top of the stack. Oh, oh, is that is that Emma in the background? Yep, that's Emma in the Simmer background. Simmer on the left, and then grill. Yep, grill. Doesn't look like we've got any logs for the brain Mantis. mantises. Mm -mm. The beauty part is, uh, so I, I've built myself around the idea of like poison and bleed. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't actually. Have to do a lot of direct damage. Yeah. I think my mantises got stuck. Are they stuck in the ceiling? Or on the water? I don't know where water? they went, but they're gone. Oh, there's one. How do those fish? There we go. Oh, is this another library? Ah! Are you going to do that thing with the flame every time we recover a recipe? Stop messing around. You're not being rational. You're a spirit who can't eat teaching a zombie how to cook. Oh, I see. Can't eat teaching a zombie how to cook. Your apprentice is just eating the foods for the effects. Zombies that can't taste can't carry on anything. Yeah, but it's not like you've done anything either. Show me what you've got. The, those notes have already lost their value. There's no one left to use them, and no one left to eat magical foods. You know this. If you were serious about it, you wouldn't spend all of your time planting plants and raising magical creatures. Hmm. I said, these creatures are our everything. The age of humans is over. They don't need to die for our survival anymore. We should be doing our best to protect them. The age of humans isn't over. I'll open the Stargate and prove it to you. Stargate? I thought you gave up on that idea. I've explained this to you a thousand times, but you still won't face the consequences. You're wasting your time. I'll burn your peons if before they get to the Stargate. Wait, if before they get to the Stargate? This, it's probably, this will, is a translated game, so there's a lot of I will burn bits. your peons before they can get to that Stargate. Mm -hmm. Cooking is an art. Those of us that do our best... Uh, it's do it. best. Yeah. Do it best. Oh, sorry. I thought that it was another typo. No, it is not. Those of us that do it bust our brains out trying to create dishes that make people happy. It's hard work, but at the same time, it's fun and rewarding. I feel such a sense of accomplishment when I see my friends eat the stuff I make. That's why I spend so much time in the field, in the kitchen, researching and improving my cooking. Right now, none of that is possible if we stay here. To be honest, as good as it looks, I don't know what the food you make tastes like. I don't think you have working taste buds either. More importantly, nobody here wants to eat our food. What's the point of being a chef if there's no one to feed? Right now, we're just using cooking as a stepping stone to strengthen you and te reach the Stargate. But for a brighter future, and a return to our old lives, this is something we must do. Halcyon Heights Recipes Found the secret recipes of Halcyon Heights. Yeah, extra punctuation would help. Ah! Oh, slippery souls? A permanent dash. 
And he has nothing to say on the matter. Mm -mm. Soldiers of the forest, to your battle stations. Do not allow Simmer's dogs to run wild in the city. Activate your traps. All hands on deck. Banish the unclean to the depths. This isn't the first time you've asked us to sacrifice our lives. You forget your priorities. Simmer only treats you like ingredients. Our great lord is the one keeping this place together. To die for her is the highest honor. That lord wants to release the herbivores on us. We're worse off if... Silence! Kill that zombie, or I shall report you to the lord protector, and you'll be punished. Fine, fine, whatever. Well then, they're getting damaged by that, by the way. Hmm? Your mantises, I think. They're just getting absolutely crushed. Oh, it's a little pea pod gun. Oh, and there's a pea pod head, a bean. How very plants versus zombies. It wonders why it's still alive. It's kind of funny, but when I was a kid, or I should say a toddler, my grandmother had this very old, it was made out of fabric, but a bean pod, and you would open it up, and inside there would be these little checkered beans, and they, they each had a face on them, and they were all smiling. Ow. Eh. There we go. You know, I wonder, now that I think about it, I wonder if she was the one that had me my baby blanket with the same pea pods. Because I think the checkers might be the same. I'd have to go back and look. Hello. Max oh, health. Strong soy milk. Poison or bleeding effects of daggers by 20%. Gain a charge after landing a successful attack for maximum of 10 charges. A watermelon charges. stew? What would that even taste like? Don't know. Sweet, probably. Mmm, braised mantis on rice. Crunchy durian fritters. Oh. What else we got? I am so hungry. Yeah. Just seeing all this food go by. Ooh, fairy staff. Fairy sphere. Rice cutter, durian shield. These are fun weapons. Durian axe. Yep. I'm curious if I should go for the bean gun. Eh, let's try the bean gun instead of the mantis scythe. <laughs> <laughs> what is... Why is the rapid fire like that? I mean... It's the mean bean machine gun. Can you use them both simultaneously? Uh, this thing? Yeah. Oh, fried durian puffs. High calorie, high in fat, and good for high blood weight. Good for high blood pressure. You heard it. How, how can that? How can that be the case? Well then. Man, this gun is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aiming it is hard as heck. Whoa, who was that guy? Was he was he a near of corn? I think so. On a corn stalk? It's the durian puffs. Oh. There's a couple more. Increased damage output by 30% for melee attacks executed while falling through the air. Eh. Oh, crispy land trip. Attracts friendly fairies, they'll follow you and attack enemies. Hmm. That's neat. Where's the durian puffs though? I thought the puffs would be there. Was it the That's fried, fried durian? durian? Maybe? I, I thought there was like a puff. Huh. Well, it's a recipe that you picked up. I guess so. I guess it must have been that. Unless it's something else and I'm just not seeing it. What about that thing that looks like it's triangular? This? 
Oh, a glowy, glowy shroom. shroom. Oh, Wait, I could have harvested, harvested those. those. It's fine. It was about all melee weapons and spear damage got a bonus. Yeah. That's like a 10% damage increase. That's mm -hmm. like. Oh, it's wheat. Or rice. 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 I'd find a good bowl of rice in this day and age. So the rice sword, or the rice blade, is the one that he uses to shear. Yeah. Makes total sense, actually. Mm-hmm. There we go. We... I really like wall climbing in this game. Mm-hmm. It's very much just like... Press spacebar. Ascend. <laughs> Once again, the lack of music. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, the music that does play is not bad. Like it's... Oh, someone's collecting stuff here. Yeah. But it's all monsters. Uh, fish, shrimp. Slime. Snail. More fish. Snail, yeah. Uh, supposed to find a way to stop you. I don't feel like it. You go on ahead. Can't really stick my neck out for a leader that doesn't care about the lives of plants. Lord Protector doesn't care about plant people. He just wants to bring about sustainability and a balanced ecosystem and other strange things. Things that don't even matter to us plants. Under that system, we'd just be eaten by herbivores. Why do we have to sacrifice ourselves to the ecosystem? Why do we have to follow a leader that just wants us dead? I should let you defeat her. At least I know you and the necromancer are just looking for things to eat. Compared to her, the damage you do is almost negligible. Are you the fearsome, despicable undead warrior of Simmer? Good. Please partake in my blood and my flesh and allow me to assist you. The Lord Protector's tyranny is ruining our livelihoods. We are the victims of a dictatorship and plants are just following orders. Every day the Lord Protector rules is the day that our rights are oppressed. Eat me! Let me sacrifice myself for the future, for the destruction of the tyranny! Okay, do you just slice the watermelon in half? Kind of like the banana? Yep. Watermelon. <laughs> These grow on trees, right? <laughs> oh, I haven't had a watermelon in a while. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't really bother this year because well, lockdown. Mm -hmm. I also just don't really care much for Fred Meyer's produce. Oh, are those pixies? Yep. We got fairy wings. I miss Trader Joe's. They I miss had... Wegmans. True. Wegmans did have incredibly good produce. That, and there was also the Market Cafe, and... The Market Cafe was kind of good. Like some of it was stuff. really good, like, the first couple times I ever had it, and then I think the flavor is kind of dulled on me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, for those of you who do not live in the northeastern part of the United States, yeah, Wegmans is awesome. It's actually from my hometown. So I, my it's family had been shopping probably there probably the all. best grocery store in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it's it's taking them a little while to expand. really expand. Yeah. I feel like they, I feel like they do a very good job of well, I remember trying being, to get a foothold out here. I remember it being a huge ordeal when what your parents were going, Oh, they're putting one up in Burlington, Massachusetts, which was what, the next town over or something. How how it would have been a while. A little bit of a drive for your folks, but Apparently People in Massachusetts were celebrating the fact that a Wegmans was coming to them. And it was amusing because our college had a lot of people from Ohio and Massachusetts come to it. So they'd just be astounded at Wegmans.
But yeah, I was actually rather surprised with how big the one in Massachusetts had become. Doesn't it have a parking garage? Yeah. It's kind of insane. It's like a small little double double decker thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Where is Simmer the Necromancer? I have a few ideas I'd like to exchange. I'm her proxy. The boss doesn't want to speak to plants. Also, she doesn't see the point of your existence. That's some severe discrimination. Looks like she can't get with the times. She's still holding on to the outdated thought that fruits and vegetables are food. She also said if any plant called her discriminatory... Wait, let me just read you the memo. Yes, I hate you. Now you're, now you're going to revolt? Produce was made to be eaten. You're the mischievous work of some insane mage. Made to? Destined? Wait, Look, a, a mage made them come to life? I guess so. Looks like your boss is a human supremacist. To think that everything is made for the purpose of human consumption. I can't remember everything. Hold on. Let me put... Uh, let me pull out that argument response rubric she gave me. Humans created this dungeon with their hard work. They're literally the only reason plants and animals can continue to survive. And so what? Does that mean we have to willingly subject ourselves to? Sorry, that was the last response on the rubric. I don't know how to answer anything else. What you want to talk to our boss about? I want her help to defeat the Lord Protector. What? I thought... Because the new guy's been running around that... Oh, the damage from that is minuscule compared to the Lord Protector's disastrous policies. I don't really understand your lord either. What has she done now? Have you coming to us for help? She's taken over Mount Asan and now has control over all the plants. In order to fulfill her ecological visions, plants have to regularly sacrifice themselves to become food for different animals. Herbivores need to eat all day and every day. The damage your little zombie does is no match for the massive animal populations we need to feed. Uh, this is very complicated. I'm not following. Don't herbivores have to eat? No. The only way for plants to have a future is to choose for ourselves. There are a lot of plants that are just plants, like the grass and many of the trees. Or, uh, oddly enough, couldn't the plant, uh, couldn't the herbivores become predivores? Yeah, but like, that's that's a closed loop. Where they're going to have to, well, no, 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 no. So they're going to have to. The problem is herbivores are too used to having plants be stationary objects that just sit on the ground and they get to munch on them to their heart's content. Predators, they have to... Oh, herbivores, maybe that would be a better term. But, you know, now that the plants are sentient and they're running around or capable of movement... I suppose herbivores would be at a disadvantage in that they'd actually have to chase down plants like prey, mm -hmm. you know? And then you would have predator predators, which are preying on the herbivores still. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Lord of the Forest took these plants. For wouldn't everything yep. work out? That's where you draw the line. But we plants took out, look out for all plants, regardless of how primitive. In time, they may, all, may, they may also achieve sentience. Okay. Yep. And so far we've seen plenty of carnivores, because I... Or at least scavengers, at the very least. But I don't know if we've really encountered many herbivores, have we? Where are the herbivores? Uh, they're later on. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting close. Oh, can't harvest these. Oh, but now I can whoa. harvest these. Are those mites that have flowers on their heads? Supposedly. Can't really hit them, though. Oh, have you gotten some larva? Looks like you have. Maybe they're supposed to be... There it oh, is. Oh, no, you did get it. Happy fruit. So they're poppies? Contains a viscous white liquid that quickly oxidizes, turning gray or black. Poppies are pretty. I remember when we... Stopped on that trip back in Croatia to the trout farm. 
Mm -hmm. And there was just a bunch of poppies outside. We're just a bunch of poppies. Okay, so I want this one. Uh... There we go. Oh, right. Are That's... those tiny fairies? Yep. Oh, so you found a fairy spear. Ooh, interesting. That's another good ranged weapon. Okay. You seem decidedly kind of on the okay territory. I think if I specced harder into magic, it'd be fine. The problem is the dagger build only really comes into its own at the very, very end of chapter one. Because you eventually get two daggers that are very good. Mm -hmm. Not that I think you're terribly invested in the core gameplay loop of this game. Well, that's because you're the one playing it. It's true. Back to bean gun. Okay, I don't think I can. We still haven't found the use for the watermelon. Isn't that the stew that you can make with watermelon? That's this one. We just need to find a durian. Durian. Uh... Are these all the recipes? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. This one's actually really good. It effectively scales up your attack speed, so you're attacking up to twice as fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was there a path nope. that way? Nope. No. Hmm. Now that's a durian. He did. Well, you that's got durian shells, but what about flesh? Uh, we'll get another opportunity, I'm sure. Otherwise, they can just come back and fight more. Oh, See? there's another durian. We... That was my stomach. That was your stomach. Oh. It's so bad. Okay. Well, do we want to get to the next kind of checkpoint area and then just stop for the night? Uh, so maybe. you can get some sweet food? It, it is. It's one of those things where we always seem to choose the game where cooking or food is the necessary component of the gameplay. And we find ourselves not having had dinner, starving because of it, and just reminiscing about food and thinking about food. And ooh, happy panna cotta. Just one bite will remove any anxiety. Man, that'd be lovely. It's interesting. I... Poppies tend to be on what? Everything bagels and maybe inside lemon muffins? Yeah. But I don't really know anything else that they're used on in a culinary fashion. Because, yes, I know people always bring up things like opium when poppies and poppy seeds are brought up. But I'm just thinking, what is it that they really impart? Onto foods to include them in just those pastries. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Well, what would you consider a bagel a pastry? What is it? Ah. Oh. I mean, it's more of a bread. Yeah, it's probably more of a bread. It's not here. Where do you hide it? I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah? Real mature of you to just hide things. You're the immature one. Why have you turned blue? You weren't like this. I'm a spirit. Spirits need to look blue, translucent, and a bit blurry. Otherwise, how will people know that you're a spirit? Are you having trouble maintaining your form? I don't have to tell you anything. Magic bends reality by using up mana to fuel that change. Every time we use mana, we sacrifice a bit of ourself. This is what you told me. You're hurting yourself for an impossible goal. This is my final warning to you, Simmer. 
The consequences of opening the Stargate are immense, and I will not let you go further. Then we're done here. I don't know since when we be when we became like this, Grill, but I will open the Stargate, and you're also coming with me. Hmm. You're not gonna talk to her a little bit more? I forgot. What was that flaming edifice saying about you doing self harm? Aren't you glad you have a boss who's willing to sacrifice herself and for her employees and ambitions? Glad my butt. What are we supposed to do if you disappear? You better explain what on earth you've been doing. Don't worry about any of that. She didn't major in necromancy, so she doesn't get it at all. Spirits use willpower to generate mana. Only a spirit without resolve would run out of mana. Uh, oh, oh no. My image fidelity. Ugh. This isn't funny. No worries. No worries. Uh, you should be more worried about the progress of your work. All these problems can be ignored as long as we can leave. Trust me on this. I just remembered you called her Grill. Did I hear that wrong? Okay. Was that really Grill? Our control freak, Dragonborn RA? Why does she look like a big green glowing pile of puke now? Wait, an RA? Resident. Resident. Yeah. Like she was the head of their dorm floor? At, Pretty what, much, yeah. A magical school or something? Yep. People change so quickly when they enter the workforce. Yep. I don't get it. Why is she so mad about the new guy in cooking? She used to spend all day in the lab in the kitchen. She was also the one who almost got us all arrested for it. I also want to know that the answer to that. You were always the most annoying out of all of us, so I can't believe it's Grill now being kind of insane. But if Grill doesn't want us to have those recipes, she can easily stash them away somewhere. Okay. I'm noticing my face is all messed up. Like, I've got this, like, crazed oh. look. Oh, you're right. Your it's mouth hard to is tell. Open. I don't... It must be a food item I picked up. Maybe it's the... The weed stuff. Because I look, like, legit dangerous. Uh-huh. Mount Asin Recipes. Or song. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close to the end of this chapter. Okay, so, yeah, that's the last of the recipes, except for the secret one. So, we missed this one somewhere. And then there's three more that There was also find. the glow mushrooms and stuff. Yeah, but wait, I, I wait, just mean in terms you, of, like, having the recipes. Why haven't you made a crab claw yet? Uh, you mean this one? Don't have enough crab pincers. Uh, Nor do I care, it doesn't really fit the build. Uh, this one's really good. Dashing into enemies inflicts 20 points melee damage and knocks away any projectiles. Uh, let's see... A braised tea beef? Scary pork gumbo. Yeah. Five points of extra damage for every different poison and bleeding effect inflicted. Uh, let's see. That skillet is sad. It is not filled with delectable ingredients. It's five small wasps that attack enemies. That's interesting. And we also have all of these. Site for interns, Gorgon Shield. Hmm. Ooh, a bow, that's it's cool. It's secondary dagger. I guess it's the Mosquito Jar. That's the other good one. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a secondary dagger here. But there was. It might be the site for interns. Yeah, people are mentioning the music got loud. Yeah, it's it's a nice song, but it's it's interesting how some zones flip flop between very quiet, somber music and then really upbeat music. I met a plant person that looked a lot like an ice cream cone. He was looking for the boss. I've never heard of a plant like that. If Grill were here, she'd probably know. Speaking of Grill, the boss just told me. Grill's the Lord Protector of the Forest. Tyler, you promised me you'd quit your medication. That wasn't even my fault. Grill and Simmer forced me to take. Wait, that's not the point. It's really true. The Lord Protector of the Forest is our old friend Grill. She doesn't look like Grill at all. I don't know why she's dressed like that either. What should we do? Should we try to talk to her? I don't think she's in the mood to talk. We'll just have to see if the boss has something up her sleeve. 
Plus, I don't think there's time. Once everything's been gathered at the Sasan Ranch, we'll need to smuggle it all to the Stargate. Are we leaving Grill behind? I can try looking for her and... We're in the middle of a big operation. Grill's being hostile and I think the boss is losing her ability to do magic. Sorry, I'm kind of confused too, but I think getting our shit together and getting the job done is the best we can do now. A lot of things seem to be falling apart. Simmer's having trouble with magic? Grill talked about how she was using too much mana, but then Simmer also said she can generate more. Emma, you look... You took the same classes as Simmer. Do you know what's going on? I, uh... Asked Simmer skeletons to do most of my homework. Uh, let me think. Hmm. Magic takes up mana, but I'm pretty sure mana can only be generated by a corporeal body. Spirits without a body can't regenerate mana, so if Simmer uses too much magic, she'll eventually disappear. Recently, remember that we exist due to Simmer's reanimation magic, so if she disappears, we're gone too. What? She never said anything about that. Can we help in any way? We know that Simmer's the type to call for help and complain loudly whenever there's a big issue. So right now, if she's not concerned, maybe we shouldn't be too worried. Like Tyler said, we should get our do jobs done. We'll talk to her about it when the Stargate's ready. Okay. What? Is that a butt? Turbine sphincter? Permanent air dash? What? Yep. Uh, 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 Don't think too hard about any of this. Uh, uh. Lost recipe, blood lotus tea. This beverage quenches your thirst and replaces it with blood thirst. Well, this whacked out face that I've got going on kind of matches. End of the line, you disgusting zombie. I have meticulously studied your jump distance and created spike traps perfect for impaling you. Your smelly feet will not be allowed to take one step on the sacred earth! But you're welcome to try as many times as you please. I will watch your futile efforts with glee. <laughs> Except now you have the butt blast. If you can use it properly. Ooh, a boar. There's an herbivore. Yep. Uh, let's see. No. There might be something up here. Up there. There we go. Yeah, we're getting some pork. Ooh, is that the blood lotus? Is the blood lotus. Grows out of animal cadavers and causes anxiety. Well right. then. Yeah. Back here, Mr. Pig. I wish to bleed you. And then just wait. The best part of the about this build. I just hit him once and then I just leave. Mm -hmm. Ow. Yep. Knocking your head into the spikes. Hurts. Yep. Yeah, it's a good thing I have regen. Oh! Bees! It's a treant with, yeah, a beehive. That oh. is now dead. Redwood, tougher than guava wood, hard to cut. Die. That's no, okay. Bam. Ah, there you go. Got a glass bottle. Swing back to four reservation. What for? Uh, get some upgrades. Oh, wait, no, this is the boar reservation. Well, I'll take a second bottle. Not that I think I really need it. Let's see. There's one or two things that I needed the boar bits for. Uh, let's see. This one is oh, amazing. Oh, pork gumbo. Uh, and then there's also the fried pork. Or the... Yeah. 
It's like a tonkatsu pork. Yeah, which is also really good. Or I good. should just say katsu. My stomach keeps going. It is so rumbly. 